would you say when you're driving, do yes. you see people texting on their phones? Every time I'm in the car? Yes. Every single time I drive. It's constant. Yeah. And usually if I'm driving and I see somebody in front of me and they're usually like weaving, I'm like, oh, they're on their phone. phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So this is interesting. Many states have passed bans on the use of devices behind the wheel. But now Washington state is taking it to a whole nother level with a strict new driving under the influence of electronics Ooh, law. A DUIE? So it's a DUIE. E. Interesting. Interesting. So it forbids the use of phones, tablets, laptops, and gaming devices even while stopped. Can't even use it when you're at a stop sign. Hmm. So texting was already illegal, but this law goes further. First time offense means a $136 fine. Wow. Second citation, $235, and it goes on a driver's record and is reported to their insurance provider. So now at least 14 oh. states have passed laws banning the use of handheld phones while driving. Virginia is not one of them. And researchers of Virginia Tech have found that distracted driving accounts for two thirds of severe crashes. One expert, Brittany, says, quote, when you're driving with a cell phone, you are a more dangerous driver than if you were driving <gasps> drunk with a 0.08 blood alcohol level. Oh my gosh. It takes a driver roughly about 10 to 15 seconds to compose an average text message. Right. And their eyes are off the forward roadway for at least half of that time. That is crazy. So I, I mean, uh, I know there was a study that I saw that like if you take your eye off the road, for at least, I think it's four seconds, mm -hmm. you travel the distance of a football field. Yes. Without looking at the road. Right, that is very true. That very is true. terrifying. I know. And I can't, worse than drunk driving. Yes. And there are a lot of, I think, uh, younger drivers especially, right. I think, think there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I can do it. Right. They think in their mind that they can do both. They right. can drive and text at the same I, time. Okay, I'll, I'll come clean. I was one of those when I was in high school. Okay. My very first car accident was with a phone. Really? I got a, I got a text mm -hmm. and then like it, we were at a stoplight moving very slow and I looked up and then hit, that, that was it. Hit the car in front of me and I was like Well, I I did oh, the same bad. thing, but I was I was just messing with the radio. It was stop oh, really? and go traffic and I was messing with the radio. You know what I think is the most distracting mm -hmm. out of everything? Mm -hmm. Children. Oh, having yes. children in the back cuz you're like ha 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 like you're like trying to talk to them or you're adjusting the mirror maybe to like be able to see them for a second yes. or you're yelling at my mom used to, <laughs> my mom used Just to swat yell at us back there <laughs> you get the arm swat like, hey, you stay. <laughs> like oh, and i remember to that i and know one time oh i'm sorry mom one time she was like i think she was yelling at us and then she ran a red light and she got so scared that she was just honking through the red light so that nobody oh, like people really? knew that she <laughs> I don't remember how old I was, but I remember that moment. It happened. Yeah. So I think that children, children are so distracting. Children are definitely a distraction. Yeah. But for cell sure. phones definitely something that you could just just put it away. Yeah. Just put, put it, it out away. of reach. Yes. It exactly. Can wait. It can wait. Yeah. All right. Speaking of cell phones, mm -hmm. do you feel it necessary to email or text after hours? Your work day. Yes, I text you all the time, <laughs> and Joanna and Ryan. Like we're always texting. But do you? F yeah, but do you feel it necessary to check in? I, oh, like to check in? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, because sometimes I'll text if we have a, a shoot after or a workout segment or something. We'll mm -hmm. be like, hey, don't, don't forget, forget your this, workout clothes or something. Or, yeah. So I don't know. Yes, yeah. is that terrible? That's terrible. I not, should leave not you really. Guys alone. I mean, our jobs I think are unique in that right. way that we do have to prepare. But right. get this: the CEO of the sports and men's lifestyle site Barstool Sports is making headlines after revealing her unique hiring process. Mm -hmm. So during a recent New York Times interview, she explained that she will text a job candidate at odd hours on the weekend just to see how fast they respond. Interesting. So she looks for a response back within three hours. Now the okay. CEO further explains that she wants employees who are responsive. While they don't have to work all the time, they should always be thinking. Hmm. And of course, many on social media feel this is a terrible management behavior that causes workers to feeling undervalued and overworked. Interesting. I don't, okay, so I think worried. what they said is she would text people at nine, between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. on a Sunday night. She you would be me. asleep. <laughs> she wouldn't get me. I would totally be asleep. There yeah. I would fail that interview. And you know what? For me personally, then I wouldn't want the job if that was a requirement. Right. Because I don't want to always be tied to my phone. 
right. That's just not what I want. I want to do my work during my work day, yeah. get it all done, and then yeah. when I leave, I can focus on my family. Um, I, the only requirement that I had when I was applying for a job, it was a sales job for a newspaper, our school newspaper, I was in college. Uh -huh. And the one thing, but Topher worked there, so he told me what to do, was after your interview, if you did not call them back, Oh. to like check in, like, hey, how did I do? Thank you so much. If you did not call them back, uh -huh. you were out. Don't, oh. No matter how good your interview was. Just to didn't thank call them, them back. Ju the well, just to kind of like check in, uh, probably because you're doing sales. Oh. You, should, you shouldn't be afraid to call people. Oh, interesting. Um, so yeah, Topher was like, you have to call, call back them. and if you don't, you won't get the job. Interesting. But thank you, Topher. I don't know if I would have called or not, but hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, if it's good music you're looking for, look no further than the Harvester Performance Center in Rocky Mount. Tonight, Emmy Lou Harris hits the stage at 8. Tickets are still available for tonight's show, but the show is standing room only. Then on Saturday, they welcome Sam Bush to the Rocky Mount stage. And on Sunday, Sister Hazel performs at 8. Next weekend, you can catch Bruce Hornsby. To get tickets to any of these upcoming shows, just visit harvester-music.com and be sure to check out their upcoming lineup for